Okay. I... Okay. Um... I need, I need, I need some professional help from my friends. I, I've been, I'm stuck on something. There's a math, a math problem that I've been stuck with this morning. Okay? Scouser, thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, Legend of the Mist. Yeah, what's up, dude? Oh, f***ing pog, dude. Um, okay. I've been, I've been, I'm, I'm a little confused by something that's happening. Um, yes. Nine plus ten. Two is good, but three is a party. Thanks, Eric. So anyway, um, today today's stream is brought to you by. Oh no! So I'm a little confused. Okay, I'm a little confused here. When I apply, um, when I apply for uh, uh, jobs on a specific platform that I apply for jobs on, right? There, they they apply a platform fee, which they say is twenty percent. Right? Okay. So when I put in my quote of $100, it comes out to 125. You getting where I'm coming from on that? That doesn't sound like 20% to me. So I reached out to them. I reached out to them and I was like, hey, what the? And they're like, no, it's correct. That is a 20% platform fee. And I'm like, no, 100 into 125 is not a platform fee. Taxes? No, it's not taxes. That's bad meth. It is bad meth. Someone's on bad meth. So this is what they do, right? I'm going to show you this. It's voices.com, by the way. So I'm about to, that's what it is. This is what they do. This is how their payment is calculated, apparently. Okay? I need a little help in understanding this. In this first part, they say, for example, let's say a client posts a job with a budget of $500. When quoting, if you were to put $500 in your quote field, which is the final number the, cl the client will see, 500 times 20% is 100. Um, so my earning would be 400, right? That makes sense. But then they go on to say this. Are you ready? Alternatively, let's say a client posts a job with a budget of that to that, uh, and you're wanting to earn 900. If you put $900 into the my earnings field, your quote would be 1125. That makes no fucking sense to me, right? Calculator. What? This makes no sense. I do 900 times 0.2 or no, pardon me, 1.2 is what it should be. 900 times 1.2 for the platform fee. That comes to 1080. That take, that that comes that comes to 1080. But if I do 900 times 1.25, I'm like, I'm like, Nani, the fuck is going on here? I don't understand. Like, it really makes no sense to me where they're taking that 20% and how it ends up being 25%. Where's that extra 5% coming from? Does anyone understand this? I, I literally have no, it doesn't, doesn't fucking make sense to me at all. So this is how they explain it here. Your earnings divided by 100% minus the platform fee equals, and then let's, they said 900 Minus the what should be 900 minus 20 percent equals 1125. Your quote times the platform fee, it was 1125 times 20. So they're taking, I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me, dude. I honestly don't understand. What's up, Husky Master Libby? I, 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 I don't, I, I, I don't. I, I really, un I don't understand how they're coming up with this 20% and why my quote of 900 is turning into 1125 that then they take 20% of. I don't get it. It's so ass backwards and fucking weird. It makes no fucking sense to me. Sorry, I was blown out the mic a little bit just then. The platform fee is 20%. You make 900. Uh, okay. They make the, wh where's that 5% coming from? You know what I mean? I'm, I feel like I'm taking fucking crazy pills over here. This is why I'm drinking so early in the day. Dude, you know what's getting me right now with, with all this shit? Aliens are cool. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? You know what's getting me right now with all this voiceover work? There's a lot of companies that are coming out here being like, hey, $300, $400 uh, in perpetuity agreement. And I'm like, bro, you're going to fuck some people over with that in perpetuity. Like I will, I can't take in perpetuity agreements, um, on, on like clothing stuff. Right. Cause if I take an in perpetuity agreement and then later on down the line, I have someone in perpetuity means forever. They can use it forever. They can post it whenever they want. They have it. It's theirs. They own it. And I'm like, I can't do that because if later on down the line, I get a fucking gig with Hanes or something like that. And they're like, Hey, we want to pay you this amount of money. You can't have any fucking, um, Con conflicts 
You can't have any fucking conflicts. And I'm like, uh, well, I did a fucking shirt commercial for $300 in 2010. And you know what I mean? It was like, oh, God damn, you fucked yourself for life, dude. So there's that. And then if you don't tell Haynes that you did that, and then they're like, they're running your spot, and all of a sudden they hear your voice on a fucking, on that t-shirt, because the t-shirt company that has you for $300 is like, oh my god, he's the voice of Haynes now, let's repost him. Then you're fucked legally, and you owe them all that money back that you made, because you broke the fucking contract. Through, through, I think I mean throw, T-H-R-O-W. So we'll do it for a thousand. Undead Baron, what's going on, man? How you doing? 103 people coming in from the Undead Baron raid. What's up? What's up, Zappy? How you doing? Hype. What's going on, everybody? Let's get some fucking... Let's get some of that music on. That's way too fucking loud. Okay, let's go here then instead. Baking pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take some bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Hey, 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 stop. stop. You fucking turn that shit off right now. Mike, we've been over this, okay? You can't play the song anymore. There's there's music companies going after people that played songs seven years ago. What do you think? What do you, what, what, you think you can continue getting away with playing music currently that is going to get you DMCA banned off the platform? No, you fucking dingus. You can't do that. And yes, people are going to be mad for a little bit, but they're going to get over it, okay? You're going to find something else. Something else is going to be good, but you just can't do bacon pancakes anymore. And I don't, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't think you can do fried anymore either I just it's it's a it's a shitty thing all right and people are gonna get over it but let's be real also your dance moves kind of blow your moves are weak dude I, I'm gonna have to be the first one to say it you dance like a turkey with its fucking head cut off all right you're running around fucking shaking that ass which you don't have and your hips are fucking locked up like you're a geriatric son of a bitch who's got arthritis for the past 40 years and you're not entirely sure what to do and you're trying to find some wd-40 and you just can't fucking make them work anymore so like just get over yourself bro it's the same four moves every fucking time people are gonna miss it for a little bit but it, it, it it'll, it'll it'll be fine i promise it'll be fine it's gonna be okay and and and, and this is this this it, the things things move on okay we grow we evolve and and that's it except your hairline that that's never gonna grow back mike and you're just gonna have to take the l on that one too so many so many fucking l's we're taking here aren't we so many fucking l's oh well, i guess it's time to drink <laughs> Which brings me on to my next topic of the day. I want to get fit. I want to get fucking back in shape, okay? Because your boy's getting, your boy's getting T-H, T-H-I-C-K. T-H-I-C-K, okay? I'm not T-H-I-C-C anymore. <sighs> Drinks are back at 1225. Listen, <laughs> don't you fucking call me out in front of my friends like that. I want to get a bench. I want to start just fucking like... Doing like doing some of that shit, dude. You know, I'm just like fucking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking become Chanlo, dude. Come fucking Chanlo. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know who Chanlo is, I'm sorry you missed the fucking bug snacks arc of this stream. It was a beautiful one. Let's get some music on real quick. I want to get just some some shit in the background real quick. Uh, lose it is a calorie calculator and tracker. Oh, I use fucking other. I use some other things for that. Today is gonna be a bad day for my calories though because. Uh, got a lot of these to get through. Get a bench, a bar, and some dumbbells. Um, I needed all the fit inside my apartment, bro. Like, that's that's the problem there. If I lived in a house in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, which I would love to do, I would love to move out of New York City. Please, God, get me out of this city. Please, please, for love of God, get me out of here. Then I would do it like that. So this is fucking great for uh, for for an apartment, a New York City-sized apartment. Um, specifically, the fact that it does that. I, I can't find a better fucking image for it. But specifically the fact that it does this. I'm not sure. I mean, it's got a lot of good ratings. But the fact that it lays flat like that and I can roll it, roll it under my, my bed. Like, oh, dude. Dude, look at that, man. And you know what else I'm thinking? If I roll it into this booth, which would suck. It's a flip phone. It 100% is a flip phone nuts. <laughs> uh, you can get a treadmill, uh, treadmill work desk. Dude, trends. That's what I'm thinking, though, is like if I if I roll it into my booth, I can just lay it down in my booth and just fucking walk while I'm playing like GTA or something. Um, that might end up being a bad look because uh, I like sitting in this chair that I spent too much money on. Someone really said it's a flip phone. <laughs> yeah, Zappy, you're right, dude. You're right. 
<laughs> get a rowing machine, bro. I I would love a rowing machine, and I know I know exactly which one I want. One second, let me do this real quick, just in case. I'm like super cautious, conscious about um about doxing myself now. I literally I have bought I have bought into the advertisements for this product so fucking hard. Um. Race workouts is what is what's got is got my 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 feel, myself feeling a little my my pee pee a little hard, dude. Little 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 bent. You know what I'm saying? We will see you in the yoga pants though. Oh my god! Can you can you guys imagine if I showed up here double caked up? Like, come on. Have you doxed yourself before? At the start of my 24 hour stream, I gave out my full fucking address, so I deleted that. That's gone. So technically, the the vod for the 24 hour is only 22 hours. Um, I I just love the idea of this. I love the idea of this. It's like, it's got all these other workouts as well. And it's like, it's essentially a fucking, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a Peloton of rowing machines. Get a Concept 2 rower. It's the best. Give me a link, Meeseeks. I trust your links nowadays. The, pro the problem being the price is $2,200. That's the problem with that. But look at it, dude. It's made out of cherry wood. <laughs> it looks nice. Also, there was something else. I don't know if I can see it. But it folds up nicely as well. Like it, it, like it folds up flat, pretty much. Will it show me the fold, the fold, compact and portable? Yeah. Look at. Can you just show me the full fucking image? I hate that it's doing this. It folds up nearly flat against the wall. That thing looks uh, aesthetic as fuck. American dollars? Yeah, American dollars, Jonah. Twenty-two hundred American dollars. You're most of them fold up. Heard that, Brown Mamba. Me six. I see you on the concept too. I'm gonna click that. And it's porn. Um. Oh, it's a fan one as well. Does it fold up nice and neat? Would you guys, like, I feel like there's, there are very few people in this chat that understand how small an Amer uh, a New York City apartment are. And that's why that, that fucking, uh, that, uh, treadmill. Fuck. That's why that treadmill got my, my, myself feeling a little, little funky, fresh and free. Now, I'm sure we've all seen the commercials, right? So I'm really excited to finally figure out whether or not John Cena is full of shit. Let's find out, dude. Let's find out if John Cena is full of shit or not. It looks weird. It literally just looks like a tortilla chip that's been rolled up. No, this is my first time, King Targ. I don't think I like it. The lime is really... Oh, it's getting hot. More orange than Trump. Hard. Those would be good with beer, though. You're right. I should grab another one. They're all right, dude. Listen to that crunch, though. They're all right. They're okay. As we look at workout equipment, yep. Okay. I've also got another flavor here. This one is is nitro. Okay. Ooh, this one's darker red. Should I play in Rust or Ark Survival? It's been a minute since I've played Ark. Like, a long time. I played it back in college. Um, um, Rust has always looked like it'd be interesting. It's like... That was weird. Whew. Oh, my ears are on fire. Whew. That tasted like a... You know what it started off tasting like? Um, the, uh, the red, the red, uh, Starburst. Ears? <laughs> no. The red Starburst. What's up, Shiner Snap? How you doing, dude? Green is the best Skittle? You guys are- what? Oh my god, dude! No way! It's definitely purple! I like Sour Skittles, but they're abrasive. Yo, fun fact. Sour Skittles in the UK don't have that extra, um, coating, Eric. You know when you pull out Sour Skittles in the US? They have, like, that sugar coating on the outside? In the UK, they don't have that. And it makes them arguably worse. We had this talk on PS4 the other day. Okay, purple? Yeah, dude, purple. That extra coating is like sandpaper. Yeah, it is. You're on crack, man? Not currently. I'm on Takis. 